uh, now a way I didn't explain, but it is true, if the reaction, whatever way it's going, this one happens to be going this way, if the way it's going has zeros, you have to do a stoichiometry part. That's why when we're doing titrations, we're always doing stoichiometry first. Because there's zeros here and the reaction's trying to go forward. So you do the stoichiometry first, you take the smaller number, correct? You go minus one, minus one, like that, from that side, and you add it to this side. Vaguely remember doing this during titrations? And then you add it up, you go uh, one, 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 and zero. This line is now your eye line of the ice table. But that's what we were doing before. Well, the same deal here. Okay, so the major concept, if there is a zero in the direction the table, the reaction's going, you must do a stoichiometry. Okay, now, if, so let me erase my sidebar. Hypothetically, if this was zero, and this was, say, one, that's the first line of your ice table. Okay, because there, the zero is... Uh, in you know, not in the direction your ice table is going. Is that okay? Any questions? Because that is a major concept. If you the stoichiometry things pop up all over the place. So here I would start with the ice table because I have a zero that is in the direction from where the reaction is leaving, the unfavored side. Okay. In the initial problem, the zero is here and the one's here. I have a zero in the direction in the favored side. I can't have that. So I have to do stoichiometry first. Yeah? Um, so in these problems, we didn't do a stoichiometry. And. Yeah. If you have a, like, so uh, she's pointing out, like, it, way back when, right? A weak acid, if you have a weak acid, is K large or small? Large. Oh, small. Small, very small, right? Weak acid, very small. So that means, which reaction is favored, the forward or reverse for a weak acid? The reverse. So you better have a non-zero number in the reverse, the products of the reverse. Is that okay? So, which is exactly what we did. That's why when we do a weak acid, there's also always a value in the reactants because the reactants are the favored item in a weak acid. If there was a zero there, I'd have to do stoichiometry first. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, you gotta get that one in your brain. This is the first time I've said it this way, but that this would be the more, most general way to say it. Yeah. Okay, now you're ready to continue? Okay, all right. So, you find the smaller number, minus 0 0.10, uh, minus, I'm gonna make a, a small mistake here, but that's okay, and then plus 0 0.10. Everybody know where my mistake is? Yeah, this one right here, because there's a 2 there. So stoichiometrically, chem 2A stuff, got to multiply it out by a 2. Okay, so now, add it up. So again, this is stoichiometry. I have not started my ice table yet. Okay. Now, I'm going to use this bottom line to start my ice table. Uh, I'm going to write the same reaction again. So is it okay if I erase this? I'm going to erase that part. Remember these numbers, because I have to remember them to write in my ice table. I, C, E, this was 0. I think this was 0 0.8. And I think this is 0 0.1. Let's see what yeah. Okay. These were, what units was I using in the previous table? Yeah. Moles. This one, what units do I want? Molarity. Molarity, so I have to divide by the total volume, which is one. So, these are molarities also. Well, same thing. 
Uh, in which direction is this going to shift? Right or left? Left, how do you know that? Absolutely right. Goes towards the zero, plus x, plus 2x, this is a 2, minus x. Okay, and then the e line is just the sum of those, so x, 0 0.8, 0 plus 2x, 0 0.10 minus x. And then I'm going to write my k. What k is it? A f, because this is a formation reaction, KF reaction. And everything's included, they're all aqueous. This is the concentration AG and H3, 2 plus all over AG plus ammonia squared. I got to square the ammonia because there's two of them. And then you just plug in from the E line everything. So 0 0.10 minus x, uh, x, and 0 0.8, 0 plus 2x squared. Let me see. I guess you have to use a quadratic to solve this. Uh, oh, no, the book didn't. The book just assumed x is really tiny, which is going to be true. How do we know x is really tiny? x is a really, really small number. K is small. Or the kf, in fact. Is, kf is really big, so the forward reaction is favored. And we're going reverse because the zero is over here. So this x, it's only going to go that way a little bit because Kf favors the products here. So think the opposite of a weak acid. Usually a weak acid, it's written just in reverse. This, this way the reaction goes is not favorable at all. And so x is really tiny. So you're going to assume x is really tiny here and here. Think of you the Kf value. Let's see what it is from book 1.6 times 10 to the 7. That's pretty standard type KF, it's just a huge number. Yeah? So, so you just look up KF, that's how you know it's large? That's yeah, yeah. Well, you know it's large, but to know the actual value, you look it up. And it uh, looks like they got this from the previous page, on page 762. It's listed right there. And that's another way you could have known that there's only two ammonias, because it tells you in the table, this is the reaction. If you have ammonia, and uh, silver, this is the reaction. So it tells you, you can just find that in the table. So that's another way you could have known what the reaction is without us giving it to you. It's just, there's only particular ways that these reactions go. Okay, you would solve for x, and x is what important value that I wanted to know from before? AG. The AG concentration, which is once I solve for x there, I have ag, and I go way over here and put it in right there in the ag concentration. Is that okay? Do you need me to write down the values, or they're in your text if you want to find them? Again, page 763. What they end up finding is that q, uh, let's see, is less than k. If Q is less than K, we're going to find numerically at the end, will it precipitate? 